What's up, guys? Welcome back to Eastgate Exchange, the show where we talk about M boards, Eastgate, uh, Eastgate Con, you know, just the electric skateboard industry uh, as a whole. And today's a special episode, special week. We've got Drew Elia, aka DE underscore drones. Yeah, <laughs> you, guys, you guys, if you're not subscribed to him already, you definitely should be. Um, if you watch this show, you'll definitely enjoy his content for Appreciate probably that. more because he's better looking than I. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't know about me though. He's, <laughs> he gives me a run for my money though. Second He'll best. definitely give me a run for my money. Total second best. Um, but yeah, so you you made the trip out for East Cape Con. I, I know a lot of these episodes you guys are listening to. We, we keep talking about East Cape Con because like we're filming a bunch of these during this week, and then the event will happen, and then all these will air after. Yeah. So we're trying to like make the East Cape Con talk a little brief this time. Yeah. They keep talking. We keep talking about what might happen. Whatever. No. But um, yeah. but you made the trip out from New Jersey. Correct. How was your flight to Vegas? Was it good? The flight was good. Okay. Uh, pro hack. Uh, my, my pro tip for everyone out here. So if you are flying on an airplane, you there's typically four flight attendants when it comes to any domestic flight. Okay. You go ahead and pick up four $5 Starbucks gift cards and you hand those off to the flight attendants as soon as you walk on the plane. And I guarantee you that you will drink for free the entire flight, which oh. I did. So Nice. Was, right. Who doesn't, who so doesn't you like a Starbucks <laughs> gift card? <laughs> so, so, you, card. so you landed at 8 a.m., 9 a.m., just can't, not able to drive. <laughs> uh, correct. Yeah. There was there was uh, two glasses of champagne, several Baileys and coffees because I was like, I'm editing. She's like, oh, do you want some coffee? I'm like, yeah. And then she's just like, and Baileys, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, five-hour flight. No, it's it's yeah, 5 o'clock somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, sure it was. It, is, it yeah. was. Yep. AM. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So so let's get right into it. Like, let's start off with like, what do you ride? What, what's your go to right now? Uh, there's a few boards I've been demoing. So obviously, just do the uh, M board endurance. Yeah, which yep. was awesome. Bow, that bow, was bow, bow, bow. so much fun. <laughs> a range beast. If you haven't seen that review, definitely check that out. That thing was insane. You guys did an awesome job on that. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, my other second favorite right now is my Hoyt UAV. Okay. Uh, it's just one of those like boards that I think once you hop on, like everyone looks on like specs on paper. It's, it's, you know, totally weird. Everyone's like, oh, 12 is 4P. Mm -hmm. When they were developing that thing, however many years ago, like yeah. that was a big battery. Right. Mm -hmm. 12 SAP is now even like, you're like, that's mind blowing to me now. Um, but yeah, so when you hop on that board, I feel like it's like, it speaks for itself once you get on that type of situation. Oh, yeah. um, Atlas Pro Gear Drive, rear wheel gear drive okay. right now too. And a you couple. Got, do you have the one with the auxiliary pack? It, the auxiliary pack is coming. Okay. I've, uh, it's on its way. God, they're claiming oh, 100 cool. miles, dude, with the I auxiliary believe that. pack. Woo! It's, uh, Did it's, you yeah, ride for 100 miles? No. No. I, I mean, oh. yeah. <sighs> so I had to, If zombies yeah, I were say, chasing me or right, something. Exactly. If it's the apocalypse and I'm doing it. But, like, <laughs> my, I, I do. I have, like, a, a couple, like, cool, like, camping trip ideas I had that I got there. I've yeah. been really into this, like, ASMR camping on YouTube. Have you guys okay. watched that at all? Uh, I don't know if I'm really into BDSM, but <laughs> oh, you said ASMR, <laughs> ASMR, okay. yeah, okay. BDSM, oh, okay. ASMR, <laughs> same, same. Together. same, same, yeah, uh, but different, and yeah. um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, so I just wanted to like kind of like go out in the middle of the woods and like ride in Eastgate out in the middle of the woods, and this yeah. aux pack was kind of like the perfect combination for that, yeah, so, like, for off road sure. gear drive, get me out in the middle of the woods, set up camp, hang out, yep. and just like ride back, and, and that was kind of one of those like ideas I pitched them, and they loved that, yeah, and um. And but other boards, I have a couple of things coming too. I just can't remember. Yeah, you rolled in with your X-way wave. X-way yeah. wave. Yeah, yeah. So riot, the like riot edition. Riot. Yep. Riot. yep. Travel battery. Uh, um, so another fun story. <laughs> TSA hates me. Yeah. Uh, every <laughs> single time I go on the airplane, I get randomly selected. Of course. Always. Yes. It's just not you know racially profiling me in any way, shape, or form. No, nope, <laughs> not at all. But uh, my my claim to fame was in one line. I got uh, randomly selected twice. So nice. in the beginning of the line, before I even got into like the actual like airport checkpoint this woman's like stared at me she's like you've been randomly selected i'm like oh yeah, okay whatever right. whatever cool like bomb swab me with like the hand and stuff yeah. like that cool <laughs> got up to the line and put like the bag through guy like looks at it like doesn't nothing went off he just goes hey you've been randomly selected i'm like that's really weird because i just got randomly selected like five feet that way and the woman yeah. was like he's like you did i was like yeah i tweeted like tsa i was like so pissed off i was like yeah it's like it, you totally like <laughs> profiled oh, yeah. me I had, a, I had a much bigger beard and it was closer to like you know 9-11 maybe right <laughs> oh, man. wasn't necessarily yeah i was time. a little tan at the time yeah, but anyways yeah, yeah. but oh, yeah man. i was just like so pissed so then yeah today got the uh the expert wave battery and it just got pulled away immediately they're like what's this like i was like eh, it's a skateboard they're like is it a hoverboard i'm like it's not a hoverboard electric skateboard the battery's here it's under the watt hours like right. I, I, I actually had all the tsa printed out like 
information for them because I knew they were going to ask a question. Yeah. So I was like, here's your guideline. And you can't trust the TSA to know their own rules. No. You can never trust they them. They called they like know. five people over. Like it was yeah. like, it was kind of like hilarious. Like I'm standing there like with my shoes, no belt on. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, right. please give me my stuff back. <laughs> please. I feel awkward can right I play, now. Can guys. I get dressed again? No. I'm feeling very vulnerable right, right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, uh, just uh, step on this curtain over here. We just got to check you real quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Put the gloves on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Grab your socks, bro. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, we are we are well, right. okay. well away from it. Yeah. Eastgate now at this point. <laughs> no, but I think I've always thought about like uh, like backpacking, yeah. but like on a board where you could you could really, uh, you know, some of these long backpacking trails, you can get them done in a day instead yep. of a week. Yep. Or oh, something. yeah, for sure. With the 100 you, miles range, especially yeah. if you're just going through that trail at like five miles an hour. Yep. Yeah. Oh, dude, you're good. You're going to you're going to mm-hmm. cruise through there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I would love to try. The other thing I want to do is uh, New York City is not that far away from me. So where right. I'm located for New York City. Uh, even if I took the ferry, like if I got up to the ferry, which is probably like a 40-ish mile ride from where my house where is. Where are you from, dude? Uh, So I am in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Okay. NJ. So. How NJ. far away is that from New York? Or you, uh, did you say that? It's like a 45-minute ride to the ferry up to oh, take the ferry. ferry okay. So you, or you can take like a train, hour, hour ride and train. So it's really not that bad at all. Oh, yeah. That's totally. Okay. Um, that's and dope, dude. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's great because I don't have to worry about like living in New York, but I get to be in New York and mm-hmm. then just come back right. out. So because New York is... Riding in New York on an Eastgate is like a mecca. That's like a that's a trip. Like it's yeah. like the world's busiest parking lot that you can die in. Right. <laughs> we gotta right? get we gotta get out there, dude. You, got, you guys have to come. Yeah. You, you have to come. It's one of those things. Bring the boards. Bring a demo. Like right. set up a demo. Get out day, to New York yep. when it's not winter time. Nope. When yeah. is it above sixty degrees there? It spring. So like okay. this like this upcoming <laughs> month, like into the next month, it'll start warming up. There much, we go. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Maine, on the other hand, will be like. Still snow. Maine. Yeah, because oh, you are from Maine, right? Originally from Maine. Oh, okay. yes. yeah. That's fun. Yep. Yeah, Portland, Portland, Maine. I, right remember Portland, I remember seeing on some of your shirts that you got you got the Maine thing right here. My Maine Surfers Union. Yep. 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 Maine's finest. Yep. Maine Surfers <laughs> Union. As I always say uh, for Hoyt, because they're from Portland, Oregon, it's the second best Portland. Depends who you ask. Depends who you ask. No, mean, it's yeah. the second best Portland. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It is. <laughs> Portland Maine was first. They were they were second. Oh, no. Okay. You're saying they're, you're saying that one's second best? Oh, yeah. Probably. Yeah, probably. All coast second best. Yeah. I think Maine's cool. Main's really cool spot. Um, so yeah, that was that's kind of uh, the board line up there. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. And then who? And then you're an ambassador for a couple companies, right? Yeah, I mean, sort like of on a big deal. Paper, it's uh, Meepo was. I would say Meepo was the the first guys. These guys are the ones that from the get go like picked me up, sponsored cool. me. It was like really early. I had 50 subscribers. I put out a video. They reached out to me like this was a really cool video. Like I shot on my phone. Like I didn't really yeah. right. think about using my equipment. Um, and they, I won the video contest at that point. They sent me huh. the uh, oh, awesome. Meepo V4 at that time. Okay. I won that. I was like, oh, I was like, you can get boards online. I was like, yeah. this is cool. <laughs> so I was win like, boards. I can win boards. So then I, uh, I started filming more and getting, and I do videography and photography professionally for commercial work and like, um, okay, yeah, weddings, stuff like that. So I had all the equipment. And uh, I was actually talking to several other YouTubers, and I was like, I was like, oh, like let me help you film yeah. for you. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we're good. I'm like, cool. I'm oh. like, why am I helping you? I'm like, I'm just gonna do this myself. Yeah. So, and I, I did. I started my own channel, and it just took off from there. And and more and more companies reached out to me. So Vipo was the one that kind of la- launched it. Uh, Xway, um, Wowgo, a couple of the people want me to to be on their websites and stuff like that. So that's awesome. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. Are you, uh, so are you a Hoyt ambassador? No. Uh, yes. Yes okay. and no. So Hoyt, okay. I Hoyt. If you're listening, Maybe make affiliate. it. A, Hoyt, Hoyt, yeah. Hoyt, Hoyt, if you're Hoyt listening, affiliate. make him yeah. official, yeah. like a ref with the whistle. So Let's make this guy a Hoyt ambassador. No, because it was so they did. They wanted to. So okay. uh, Jackson, um, he was he was on one of my podcasts with me. He yeah. was Watched when he it. first when he first came on. He was like, "We want you to be an ambassador. We want you to be the mm-hmm. rep." So I'm like, "Awesome! This is like a dream for me. I'm so pumped." I couldn't review any other boards. Mm-hmm. That, oh, was, that was the part shoot. of the that was yeah. part of the contract deal. Yeah, and it immediately yeah. broke my heart. As I said, yeah. I can't do that. Well, we got to make a special clause for Drew. Yeah, and I said I want to support you guys. I would love to do anything and everything I can to to represent yeah. you guys. And so we're on like a kind of like a bone like a board loan situation. Yeah. So okay, uh, the UAV is not mine per se, but uh, right. you know they, they've I've had it for like three and a half months now. So okay. okay. Um, and uh, I'm sure they're gonna want it back eventually. Yeah, That's may- maybe, maybe. I, maybe. I I understand it. Like, I guess if we were to sit down and like actually have legitimate. Uh you know, ambassadors, yeah. I think it'd be one and only exclusive. Yep. Okay. I think that's fair. Totally understandable. Yeah. And I said to him, I was like, I was like, that is not an un like unreasonable request. Right. I was like, you 100% deserve that. I was like, but I have for the past, like at that point, I was only like probably seven months into YouTube. And I was like, I've already built so many bridges with so many other companies right. that I can't like, just like say no. To well, them and once more. they're, and once they're, those bridges are burned, yeah. they yeah. don't open back up right. typically. Yeah. yeah. So I wasn't going to, I was like, I, I wanted to support them. I was like, I'll do anything for you guys. I'll right. ride the boards. Do all the uh, that stuff, 
and they, they they're cool with it so that's kind of cool. like it's the best of both worlds yeah they got like a little half deal yep. going yeah. that's cool i mean the same thing with you guys like you yeah. guys sent me out the board i mm-hmm. loved it got to ride it for a while and and, and i think that's like <clears throat> for reviewers that's one thing but you're right, right. if you're doing an ambassador like yeah. i am an mm-hmm. board ambassador you gotta like this is it right i mean do you really need much more than that no no right i don't no I put in my application. Yeah. yeah. You're racing for us. Yeah, you're on, you're on yeah. the inboards racing, yeah. bro. I think, I think you're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I think you're, you're good there. Good. Sh- yeah, that's pretty cool, man. All right. So it seems like you're uh, It seems like you're knee deep in the e-skate scene, dude. It, it happened quick. Uh-huh. I, um, you know, skateboard my entire life, snowboard my entire life, surf my entire life. Okay. And when e-skate... When seems like that's the natural progression uh-huh, for everybody. For sure. Yeah. Yep. It's, you know, it is. And it's like that once you're... Once you get a little older, I mean, you're like, I don't want to push board around anymore. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. That shit, that shit hurts, man. It hurts, you know? And uh, and all of a sudden, like, you're like, hey, this remote goes forward and it breaks and I can go up a hill right. as opposed to going down a hill. Like, it's, it's it was nuts. When I first yeah. topped on one of those things, it's nuts. It's an incredible feeling. And I, uh, I always tell people, I'm like, no matter what, like, I'm out, like... Of random like UPS driver stop. I'm like, what is that thing? I'm like, hop on. They're like, right. like do you do like do you ride a skateboard? They're like, yeah. When I was a kid, I'm like, hop on. And yeah. they're like, put in gear mode one, let them ride around. Yep. Uh, and like, they'll get off. They're like, all right, how do I get one? <laughs> like, yeah. like, like, what? How do I get one of these? So we, we got a pretty cool UPS driver. We do. Yeah. He yeah. he might be coming to convention. Yeah, this we've been asking him and every day that we see him. Like, bro, are you coming, man? Are you coming? You got to come because he yeah. comes and he delivers stuff and yeah. picks stuff up and he always sees some stuff and it's like, dude. He's let us ha- show you. He's hated us this week. Yeah. He's delivered Ooh, us hundreds of packages. So week. many boxes. I haven't seen the warehouse empty, so seeing it now, I'm, I know you guys are like, this thing uh, is packed We are packed full. Rim. We packed are packed full. Rim. It looks awesome, though. Yeah, it's aw- it is the awesome. Space is cool. I'm so excited. Eastgate Con 2023 is going to be lit. Yeah. yeah. Be there, be square. It's, this is already aired, man. Uh-huh. So if you weren't oh, yeah. there. If yeah. you weren't there, then you were square. <laughs> yeah, you were square. Yeah, because we are filming and, a couple and come days next year, because next year is going to be... Next year's gonna be wild. I have uh-huh. said that I think three episodes in a row. Next yeah. year's gonna be insane. So it's gonna be it's um, just growing, and I love it. Yeah. I think you guys have done some incredible work as Thank far you. as like the community. I'm all for it. Like Thank the you. community in general. Thank you, Drew. We appreciate you, man. There's not enough positivity. I feel like in the community, so oh. we'd like to try to mm-hmm. increase the positivity for Dude, sure. The forums are. Brutal. Oh yeah, they, they are. are. They're yes, gnarly. They are. But most of those of dudes that are on the forums don't come to shit like this. So. A lot of them do, and a lot of them don't. Yeah. There's, it's, a, it's just like any other social media platform. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of really cool guys on there. And there's a lot of really crappy guys on yep. there, and it is what it is. But yep. you know, it's all good. Yeah. Those guys that say that stuff though would never say it to you. No. So no, they, they'll no. walk right past you, and you'd no. never know. You'd that never it was know. One of them. Yeah, you'd never that's know. That's just like why. Like, yeah. So it's you like you win more flies with honey. Like it just be positive. yeah. Like, just I be know. More, way more positive in the community. Like I don't don't be a troll. Yeah. Right. Iggly, mm. I know. I don't. I don't get it. I I have a hard time understanding it because I would never do that. I would never get online and talk shit about somebody yeah. or a brand or yep. anything. I would just, that's just not part of my DNA at all. Uh-huh. So I have a really hard time understanding how people are just so brutal to other people online. I just, I just don't get yep. it. Like, it's why'd you buy that board? Like it's $300. You should have bought a Propel. Like, oh what? yeah. 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 Like, yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. And then they, and then they criticize yeah. it for not buying the Propel right. and anybody else that doesn't like Propel, they get criticized right. also. Right. Yeah. It's so like, it's just gnarly in the forums. It's wild. Cause like people will post pictures of like the new board. They, they just bought. They're super stoked about it. They love it. Best and day then, of life. And Christmas. then someone will comment that board's a piece of shit, and here's why, yeah. and here's why you should return it. Yeah. It's like, bruh, yeah. what's wrong with you? You're just like, you're like, Santa's not real, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, All right, dude. Blew my Somebody day woke up. up on the wrong right. side of the bed, that's and that's wild. usually some shit that I always say. But like, why do you got to post on here some negative Nancy stuff? Do you like, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Does your mom not love you? Like, <laughs> right. what is going on? Well, yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, and, yeah. It, and at the end of the day, I shouldn't even say that. I shouldn't even put my two cents in, but it's so hard for me to not be a dick to somebody that's being a dick. Yeah. yeah. It's just it's not, tough. it's just not in me, dude. I just want to put my fubu up their boo boo. <laughs> in the case anybody's wondering, that means my foot up their ass. Yeah, no, we got okay. it. We got that. Yeah, that was for the for for the listeners, yeah. viewers that didn't. I know. think the listeners kind of are starting uh, to get understand. Your, yeah, there your, we go. I think we <laughs> I think we need to come out with a line of t shirts. It's just all you're saying. All my just, shit, dude. All your little acronyms. All, right. all of it. One hundred percent. So oh, different topic. Okay. Um, Amped actually posed this question to Mike in okay. an interview that we scheduled before the event. Um, so it was talking. They were asking about the future of the sport of e-skates. We Ooh. were kind of talking about that a little bit with um, yeah. Scott too, about like how other sports like this have like um, standardized vehicles and stuff. Mm-hmm. So like, where do you guys see the future of e-skate as a sport? In X Games. Oh, 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 give okay. this one to Drew. Yeah. Drew's here. Let's give him. Right. Right. Everyone, Drew, everyone can answer. Yeah, yeah. Can answer. Oh, okay, okay. I definitely got my answer. Yeah, I I think standardized would be would be nice for a level playing field. Right. I mean, like, but then you, that's hard. Yeah, that's hard because you like you do. You have the Stooge guys, right? These guys right.
And you got guys that just buy regular off the shelf boards that are nice, like 14s, right. 4Ps, whatever, 12s, 3Ps. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's classification, I guess, maybe under battery situation or power level. I don't know. There's like, there's so many factors. So this, this comment came up in the comment section of, I think, like one of Hoyt's posts, uh -huh. actually. Um, someone was talking about like how the classes are just like, you know, the, the power level of these boards mm -hmm. should be. It's actually under the post where they were, they took a picture of their, their dyno that they made. Yeah. yeah. So um, sick. Yeah, that thing is awesome. Right? I can't wait to and see it. They were someone was like, you know, I, I think EasyCon needs to, you know, limit power or something like power restrictions on boards. Yes. And I'm like, and then their response was, well, you got to talk to Mike about that. But also, if you do that, you'd have like a ton of different classes, yeah. tons of them. You'd have, mm -hmm. you'd have, you know, ten different class or power classes, yep. and you'd have, and you have to do different truck classes. Yep. And you have There'd to just be endless. So. So I think for right now, for now, in the infancy of electric skateboarding, I mm -hmm. think the pro sportsman and novice really does separate the playing field. You're mm -hmm. not going to really see anybody on a backfire zealot in the pro class. No. You're not going to see anybody on a stooge in the novice class. No. And then, and then sportsman is just kind of a mixed bag of experience of exper yeah. experience yeah. level. No, I agree. And, and I think that's fair. And boards also. Yeah. And I think yeah, and mm -hmm. boards. So I, I think it's I think it works for for now. Mm -hmm. no. Obviously, in a professional playing field where there's legitimate money to be had, I think yeah. of course the the sport has a lot to grow, but yeah. Cause even that's like, my opinion. Even yep. like in uh, in F one, it's not they don't have the same engines, they don't have the same everything like that. It's it's like there's like a certain parameters that you have to fit. Right, right. And then yes. everyone builds their own stuff underneath there. Like Mercedes has their own engines, and right. McLaren uses their engines. And it's in NASCAR, you got yep. the Ford cars, the Chevy cars, the yep. Toyota cars. There's yep. like, hey, you have to fit this parameter, and that's it. But like, I think you're right. I think like basing it off of your time is, is how you should base it off. For of now, it. that's mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's easiest the way, to go. way possible. Uh, like yep. you hit this track in 50 seconds, good for you. You hit this yep. track in 80 mm -hmm. seconds. Right, because you can put somebody that doesn't know how to ride and put them on a stooge board and, and they they're gonna not going to nope. perform like gonna the win. stooge There's dudes no way. are and nope. so that's where we're i can tell you right now are, i was on a stooge board i'd uh -huh. still get my ass kicked yeah, no way yes. there's no way so my first like uh probably 30 minutes on the stooge board bro i look like i was a pr uh, uh amateur rider like all wobbly and everything because it's a, just a completely different setup dude you have right. to get used to that once you get used to it then you're flying but you know what i mean you just can't like I want to try one out so bad. Oh, it's They're a whole. Fun. It's, they are it a lot of is fun. a whole other world, bro. Watch like those guys it's just slide really slide vertically. Like, I yeah. will never do that, but I just want to uh, go and feel that power. It's it's <laughs> awesome, bro. It's like it will, will just they do, will they do demos. Uh, yeah, um, you know, I'm just steal one. I'm sorry. Uh, I do. <laughs> I do believe that Mo typically brings at least one out to uh -huh. show off. Right. Um, I mean, otherwise, I'm not sure how he would. They're all like ever individually convert. owned, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. they're all they're all pretty much made. I know John. John said. Yesterday that he demoed one last year. Okay. okay. So there you I go. don't know whose it was or I'm how he did sure, that, but yeah, I think Mo it was with Mo. Will, yeah, so. Mo will probably bring one. That would make sense. Um, I know. I know. Uh, Joe SoCal Legend. He has his custom built one. Mm -hmm. It's it's not as quick as the like the officially but built it handles boards, like it. Right. But it's still the same. Yeah. Which you would not be going forty miles an hour anyway. Oh, mm -mm. So his board would be totally fine for you to try it yeah. because it's, it's the same truck system. It's the mm -hmm. same. Yeah. Pretty much that's everything. What, that's why I wanted like that, yeah. that three link system. Like, yeah, that's yeah. Really yeah. Right. That, I, it's I, nice. I can't speak for Joe, but he he might let you ride it. Yeah, he maybe he you. might. He might. It. That's his baby, bro. Yeah, it is. Yeah. He really likes that thing. I'm gonna steal it, Joe. Thanks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it. I think you know what? You can just stay home. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Joe, if I wrap it up. Okay. Yeah. That's funny. So yeah, that's that's kind of where we're at with the with the racing scene. I think. Yeah, I agree. And I think like especially like we were talking about last year is like for next year. uh do we get like more days, like five, yeah. like Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Yep. And, like, oh yeah, we might have to branch into three day next year. We're already. gonna, for, I think for sure, if we're gonna take mm -hmm. the EUC one wheel guys seriously, mm -hmm. I think yeah. we have to uh, expand another day of yeah. uh, uh, convention for sure. Yeah. Hey, and one wheel guys, if you're listening, like uh, we would love to have you guys there. Yeah. So yeah, show absolutely. absolutely. Show up. That's that's I, actually kind of interesting because one wheel. I love one wheels. Other than like <laughs> vest based system, yeah. one wheels are all. One. That is a pretty playing, uh -huh. pretty decent yeah. playing field. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and those guys do crazy. Like those off road riding, those guys do yeah. like the downhill riding stuff like that. They mm. are nuts. Yeah, and that's, that's where it's that's where it's fun to race one wheels. Yeah. Is like the downhill stuff yep. on the mountain board, mountain bike, mountain bike trails. Like when yeah. you're on a yeah. one wheel and racing around a track that's flat, like yeah. a go kart, it's not really that much fun. Yeah. Um, what's what is? Do you know the rules for these these one wheel races? Are you allowed to bring like a fully modded out one nope. wheel? It nope. has to be you stock, have right? to be st you have to it has to be a GT and oh, it has to be yeah, a GT. It has to be a GT. Uh, I think maybe they might open up a vest class. I don't know if it's official yet or not, but it's like you got to be on an XR or a GT. Interesting. interesting. You know? That is interesting. Yeah. And, and most of them bring, and most of the one wheel races, they bring the uh, GTs and you ride that GT that one wheel brought. That's cool. I believe. Yeah. See, I, I could see the e-skate world going like having like motor wattage limits or mm -hmm. something and then having an open class where mm -hmm. anything goes. Literally, if whatever. Yeah. So I could see that maybe doing something like that, but 
then it's like there's just I just I just think too many classes is also yeah negative going, yeah no I agree yeah, yeah. I want to see our sport in X Games I want to see it legitimately televised where I, yeah, yeah that's yeah. when I know it'll be ESPN like official like a ref show yes. yes yeah I, dude yep. the amount of crazy shit they put on ESPN there's no reason why this can't be on ESPN uh-huh. the high speed scooters like the guys I, wear like the full yeah. slick body suits and they're yeah. racing around the scooters I'm like those are on this Espen. is lame man yeah, like that is so lame <laughs> so lame we need electric skateboards on Espen we gotta make it happen Espen yeah, yeah Espen yeah. right is that how you pronounce it Espen no yes oh okay if you ask Adam Sandler yes yes love him <laughs> Shout out to the man, the myth, the legend, Adam. We know he's watching. You know he's yes. watching. Yeah. yeah, of course. He's a fan, in case you guys didn't know. <laughs> Wait, watch. He's going to order a board now. All right, dude. He's so funny. Wouldn't that be awesome? We need to get a board to like a star like that or something. We'd never like, see could it. Could you again. imagine? <laughs> we'd never like, see Like, could you guys again. imagine Tom Brady riding the endurance, bro? You know how many we'd sell? <laughs> a million. We'd go out of business. Yeah, Casey yeah. Neistat. If you can get Casey Neistat so, on, on a. He's anything. super boosted, bro. Yeah. He you is. Know. Yeah, and he's still on boost. Uh-huh. He's still on boost. He's still being Although boosted. he has a one wheel in his videos. You've uh-huh. seen his videos. He's got the one wheel. Uh, okay. Yeah, in the he background. uses it for filming and shit. Yep. yep. He's got the one wheel. Yeah. I got a case. What is he doing, bro? Have we reached out to him? Why is he not coming to no, East Um I do, do know him? I, I DM'd Coast? him, but of course oh. I didn't hear anything from him. Okay. He's just. Yeah, there's people There's people in New York that are going to come to this event that are friends of friends with him. Okay. So there is a, there is a like third degree separation to getting to right. him, I okay. would say. Twice removed. Yeah. Okay. Right. There's a few people that, that can get in touch with yeah, him. Yeah, I mean, he's the reason why Emboards exists. I'll mm-hmm. give him I'll give him that because yeah. I would not I would not have been, you know, into electric skateboards without him. Everyone. So then he's the reason EskateCon exists. Uh, yeah, that's oh, what I'm saying. So he's, dude, king of, he's king of EskateCon. Yeah, he's daddy EskateCon. That was that there, that was that bro. bong moment where you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 that's funny yeah we got to get him there man we have to make it happen yeah he'd be cool he's not, he's not really part of the community that much but he's still like everybody agrees that like he did mm-hmm. a lot to push the industry forward so yeah dude his, his videos were getting millions of views yeah before millions of views was really happening they're on right. electric skateboards for sure right. oh yeah no no views are happen. hard to come by now uh-huh. with electric skateboarding it's hard to come by views at this point yeah yes, oh shout out to you bro you just passed 1,000 yes, subscribers yes you did yes you did Get yeah. the ads flowing. Get yes. the ads flowing. Yes, yes, dude. Now I have to watch stupid commercials whenever I watch. First your day videos, was a whopping bro. twenty-seven cents I made. Hell yeah, <laughs> it's twenty-seven cents <laughs> more than That's you did make. It's a gumball, like, bro. It's ooh. a full gumball right there. Just so give it a pumped. little bit. Inflation so though, pumped. probably not. I know, right? Yeah, Fifty cents a gumball now. Oh, seventy-five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, it was watching that. It's, it's yeah. When you turn that monetization on, you're like, you're like, ah, oh, like who's gonna watch this? Like, wh- how yeah. how much money is really gonna come in? You're like, and you that first like few cents, I was like, this is awesome. You know what's crazy? My first video. So back when when electric skateboard still got views mm-hmm. my first video got that half a million views man it wow. paid for my whole skateboard there we wow. go it was wild yeah. i was like what the fuck mm-hmm. yeah it was awesome. ridiculous i was just but now it's like we post videos and they get like 500 views yeah. it's really hard it's but super we don't tough. monetize our videos we don't mm-hmm. not anymore we don't huh yeah, the reason why is because every time someone clicks on Emboard's video, they'll get shown a Meepo ad, yep. or they'll get an X-Way <laughs> ad, or they'll get an Evolve ad, and they'll get... Oh, I'm like, you know what? No, oh, let's pause just... Pause my ad. Yeah. Oh, God. Stop so it. I am one of the Meepo ads now. It, yeah. it happened to me. I was watching YouTube the other day, and okay. I'm laying on the couch, and all of a sudden, like, the thing comes on, I'm like... I'm like I didn't click on my video, and I'm like, yeah. and that's, I'm like, I'm like, this is an ad. I was like, oh my god, oh, I'm like, I'm an th- ad. <laughs> no, wait, they can just make any video an ad. That's so crazy. I clicked on my analytics, and I get. It literally is a YouTube YouTube advertising mm-hmm. analytic, and it's like I get like views based off. That's of it. cool. So Do they pay you for those? The monetization because it's an ad itself. It's it's a monetization, so I get that payment through that view of that Sweet. monetization. So interesting. It was very interesting. But I was like sitting, I'm like, I was like, I didn't put this on. I'm like, oh my god, this is an ad. I was like, wait a Skip. minute, I'm an ad. Yeah, no, I was like, I was like, fuck that guy. I click. <laughs> I don't need to see this yeah. shit right now. I was like, ugh. I, I looked like a. Did you skip person. it or did you watch it? You I skipped it. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, I would have watched it. I would have. No, yeah. hell no. I would have watched my ad for sure. No, I skipped it. Yeah. Because the, the ad's probably the full length of this video. It's probably uh-huh. like an eight minute video. Yeah. That's fine. Yep. Yeah. What if you watch the whole ad? Do you get more money? Uh, I have no idea how analytics works. So yes. it's based, I think yes. technically, but yeah. it's so. If well, you so watch a single ad. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever been like watching YouTube and then you walk away from it? So if you leave an ad playing the full length, it'll okay. go to a logo and it'll sit there for like 10 to 15 seconds. Okay. If you play that out, and you don't like click out of it, it just assumes you're not watching yeah, it. And then, yeah. and then they don't watching? get paid as much. But if you okay. watch it to the end of the video and then you skip it just when it flashes to the logo, yeah. or if you click on it, then you really get paid. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. And there's a whole like, So it depends. It's really complicated. There's yeah. a bunch of algorithms yeah. and they, stuff. They're, they're, not very, they're not very transparent about it. They okay. also rate your channel differently, like based on how family friendly it is. Okay. So if you yeah. make really family friendly videos, like you get Pampers ads and they okay. pay more than like. Yeah. Like our content, yes. we would not be in top tier advertising. No, no. Yeah. no. Too much profanity. <laughs> <laughs> so
one of the uh, the other day, uh, one of the videos got like a hundred and fifty three dollar uh, CPM. So someone, one of the advertisers, is paying one hundred fifty three dollars per thousand, thousand views. views. Wow! Oh. I was like, I was like okay. wow, because that's like eight bucks, nine bucks for uh-huh. a thousand views or something like that for me yeah. right now. Okay. And I was like, damn. I was like, who? I, I have no idea who that was. But listen, and this is just like a snowball effect. It just keeps coming in more and more and more, and the dollars yep. turn into hundreds yeah. of dollars and thousands. And all of a sudden, before you know it, dude, you're just it's retired a, and e-skating. It's it's a tough it's a tough industry to yeah. like because there's there. I I always say this is the biggest smallest industry, which doesn't make any sense, but because mm-hmm. there's tons of these boards everywhere, mm-hmm. but the community I feel like is very small compared to how many people own these boards. So oh, it's okay. like. It's like people are not engaging in the content as much as we hope that yep. they do. So it's like only like the diehard people are watching the video. So it's yeah. really hard. It's really difficult. And you, as I'm sure you know, yep. to really connect to, those, to that main general public, which is why hopefully Eastgate Con uh-huh. can fill those gaps and get people into the sport and stuff. Yep. But it's very, very hard to like get people to watch your content. Yeah, for sure. uh, it's getting the community involved. So yep. group rides and stuff like that. I host group rides. I have like 60 people show up these group rides and, yep. and, and it's like, I collect more people who ride along. It's like someone on like an e-bike that's like riding the opposite direction. I'm like, come on, yeah, hop, hop in. on. And at the end of the ride, it's like you went, you know, we started out with 50 and all of a sudden we have like 75 people behind us because yep. they just were out and it's like, they're, it's like scattered. Like people buy the boards. They don't watch the content. They're right. just like, oh, I saw someone do that and they bought it for 300 bucks. And then they're like, yep. they come to the event. They're like, oh, you guys have like some serious stuff. They show up like the sand and flip-flops and i'm like full out <laughs> oh, gear oh god I'm like, yeah <laughs> motorcycle helmet all right i'm like I, what's wrong with you i think a lot of the a lot of the issue not the issue but people buy the boards four five hundred bucks they use them to get to work mm-hmm. or to school or around campus and they go home and then that's it they yep. don't look at it in any other way that they do maybe a bicycle yep. like they just they don't think about it in any in any sport way mm-hmm. or any they're not passionate about it they just it's just a tool it yeah. works or it doesn't for them, and that's that's it. Yeah, I'm and passionate about it. You skate and, or and die. And that's the thing is, is then there's on guys me. like us who, yeah. who every week sit down yes. in front of a mic and talk about it for yes. an hour. Love somehow. it, eat it, breathe it. Our yeah. wives hate us probably. Is your wife hate? Is she tired of you? Yeah, you let's talk, talk about, about that. Yeah. How's how's your wife with uh-huh. like with buying? I know like a lot of the boards aren't you know aren't necessarily purchased, yeah. but like when you do buy stuff, like is there any kind of? It was a very difficult conversation to have yeah. when you're yeah. like, hey, I'm buying a $1,500 skateboard. Yeah. And they're like, and trying to figure out why you need a $1,500 skateboard. Right. And then you also have to explain to them that 1500 is not that bad right. compared to See, what's right. out yeah, there. Exactly. <laughs> compared 3, to this $3,000 skateboard. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, it's half off. Like, yeah. It's right? the same math that she uses on me with Target. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. She's like, she's like I almost okay. spent $300 at Target. I'm like, only $300 at oh, Target. I'm like, what'd you buy? She's like, well, I could have spent 900 I'm like, you're right. You're right. Yes. Okay, you're right. Thank you. Yes, thank No, it's not that bad anymore. You're right. $300 sounds great. Yeah, $300 is good. So, yeah, it's it is. It's uh. I think the more of the problem is, is we live in a uh, a townhome, so we don't have okay. much, like square footage as it is. So right. my entire office and loft. Meanwhile, also my entire downstairs has skateboards everywhere. Oh, yeah. so I gosh. like like I'll that's got to be conflict for it, sure. It is. We have two little kids. They love them. They sit on them. They ride them. Like uh, I sent you a picture of, of yeah. Ashton Porter chilling on the uh, on the uh, M board. Yeah. yeah. But like I, at the front door, I'll have like five boards, and it's just like it's like you have to step over them. Yeah. And she's like she hates. Oh it. yeah. She's I like, would love get it. Get these out of the way right. right now. I can't. She said she's like I'm gonna set fire to the to the uh, hoy. Okay, no, don't. Oh, okay, no, yeah. threat taken seriously. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. It's being moved yeah. right now. Yep. That's what I said. I was like, okay. She's like, if this is not gone before he's get con, I'm setting fire to it. I'm calling Jackson. Okay. I was like, okay. Well, and Jackson's yeah. going to come and pick it up on his way. Yep. Yeah. 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 Just, yeah. Yeah. The Hoymobile on is way. on its way here right now. Yes. It left yesterday, correct? I'm excited for that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. It'll be here tomorrow. Like uh, I don't know. Probably. 55,000 okay. watts of solar power on that thing. Mm-hmm. It charges. Like, it's crazy. like, we can charge all of Vegas on this. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, so the, uh, my wife doesn't give me a hard time because it's all work. Well, it's, it's all your livelihood. Business expenses. Uh-huh. It's your so livelihood. Like I get to just play with stuff, and I don't have to worry I about know. it, which is super Hanging cool. out here all day long. Yeah. You guys are like, this is like a dream. You're just like, you got we, skateboards everywhere. You're we have shipping a dream parts. Job. You're making stuff. You're welding yep. batteries. Like, you guys have a full-on production company here, we're which trying. is awesome. Well, it's funny because we kind of get desensitized to the East yeah. stuff because yeah, we're we around do. it every single every day, day, all day. And, then and it's sometimes like, I'm over it. I'm like, yeah. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> everybody, else, everybody else is like itching <laughs> to talk because yeah, no one right? wants to talk about it with them. But, like, I am just sometimes I'm just like, I don't care, man. Yeah. It's you funny know? to see the local customers like drag their girlfriends in, uh-huh. and you can tell yes. that they're just like over it. And the guys yep. are like, "Oh my god, it's like yeah, all yeah, giddy! Yeah, oh, yeah, those wheels yeah, and this yeah, and that." And then yep. the girls it's are just awesome. like, "Oh, it's he's it's playing with his toy." Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know. It's awesome. And for me, I talk to a camera that doesn't talk back to me, so it's I'm true. just staring into a lens 99 percent of the time. I'm like, "Hey guys!" And they're like, "There's no one on the other side of that." And like, see the comments, and I sit in the comments. I'm like, "Someone talk to me, please." Why does this feel so lonely? Right? I'm so lonely. So I get it. Like, but yeah, it's fun. You guys have a really
we we we've tried to spend a lot of time really trying to get ourselves on a good track, and I feel like we're there, and it's just we just keep iterating and keep mm-hmm. keep grinding it out, and and uh, it's nice to be able to actually have people in and like show them what we're doing and yeah. kind of put a face to all the names and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited. This is gonna be a fun week. Yeah. All right, well, dude, I, I think th- that's probably about it. Yeah, I got to pee, dude. Yeah, yeah. I could pee. I gotta, okay. I could pee. Yeah. Well, uh, please subscribe to Drew. He's got great. If you like our videos are very like chatty. His is very to the point. It gives you the information about a lot of different brands, not and just handboards. And it's funny at the same time. And dude. he is. And he does Hilarious. sprinkle some comedy in there. So cool. R-O-F-L. Rolling on the floor laughing whenever <laughs> I watch his shit. I'm like, yes. So uh, all his information will be in the show notes below. So check him out. Subscribe if you're not already. Um, as long as you're not the, you, you you don't have to pick one or the other. You yeah. can subscribe to both. Yeah, of pick them. both. Yeah, pick both. Yeah. That's yeah. both. Yeah. Why not? Why not both? Yeah. Yes. Why not? Both? <laughs> Love us all long time. <laughs> oh God. Yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Peace. Bye.